Hey guys, this one is the best Shopify apps for single product stores, one product stores, or if you have maybe a small selection of items, you're not a huge store with tons of items to list, this may be for you. These themes are really all about telling your brand story, your story of the products, just interacting with your customer base a little bit more, also having your store on the side. Some of these are completely free, some are paid. The free ones are great, the paid ones are great too. You can have a look at them and see which one you wanna go for. So the first one is narrative. This is made by Shopify. So if you sign up with Shopify, you can get this theme for free. You can upload it, start using it and editing it right there with Shopify for free. So maybe if you're a small business that offers services like uh, dog grooming or something like that, then obviously you're not gonna have too many products on your site, but you do need to tell your brand story. Maybe you do have some things that you can drop ship to customers. So this one might be for you if you're more of a company that needs to tell the story of actually what you're gonna do for your customers. Maybe you're a business that sells items to order, really unique items. You can definitely tell the story of your brand, what you do on this theme. So you can actually get four different styles in this theme. You can see them here, I'm gonna flick through them. So they're definitely way different to each other. So you can see how different the same theme can look. You can not only choose one of these styles, but you can also go into the theme editor, change this yourself to make it really unique to your brand as well. If you wanna know more about editing themes and making them really stand out and unique to you and your brand, I'll link some tutorials in the description below. You can go and check those out. Up at the top, you can also see this link to your store. So obviously, if you do have products to sell, maybe one or three products, you can very easily do that on the store page and it's not gonna look out of place. You can fill up the rest of the site with loads of images, maybe customer reviews, and some story about your brands or your products. And then we come to a paid theme. This is again still in Shopify, but it's called Startup. This basically is a super great one page site. So I know a lot of businesses online, maybe you're selling courses or a course, like a digital product. Maybe you're selling just one thing. Maybe you're an inventor. Maybe you have a product that you, know, you made somewhere else and you're just selling one item. This is what's called a one page store. Literally you have a page to sell the product that you're selling and that is pretty much it. As you can see here, massive hero image at the top, but you can put in images, videos, blog posts. You can edit that in the theme builder. Again, if you don't know how to do that, I'll link some tutorials below. I do think this one looks a little bit better on web than on mobile. And I guess that's just because you have more space and you can put way bigger, better images, but that's not really a criticism of the theme as much as it is just having more space on uh, web than you do on a smartphone. So you can see how different this theme is compared to those bigger stores where you have tons of products, categories, and you have lots of different links to those. This really is just more, it's more like a blog, just a homepage, you have your product there, you really go into deep detail about the product. So this one would be fantastic if you made a custom jewelry to order. Maybe you make some custom wallets and you only have you know, a couple of different products. It'd be so good to show them off on this theme. Minimal is the next one. This is completely free to use as well. Now I actually think this one is kind of better for stores with more products. So if you're just a one product store, maybe you'd wanna go for the previous theme that I mentioned, but if you have maybe five or 10 items, then this may be for you. Like all themes though, you can edit them. I quite like the homepage, the way you can set it out. I'm not a massive fan of how the theme actually lays itself out, but you can see some actual stores that are using this and you can see they change the theme a lot, the way it looks, and it can really work if you have maybe just a couple of products. The homepage, as you can see, it's really just uh, a list of collections or categories, but definitely when you can go in and edit the theme, you can really just put a bunch of images around these as well, and it's really minimal, and that's why I think it can work quite well if you only have a few products. Also, if you do only have one or two products, you're a single product store or you make items to order, I'm guessing a lot of your marketing is going to come through Instagram and Facebook, You know, a lot of posts online. And what you can do with this theme actually is maybe download an app like Shoppable Instagram. So you can actually import images from an Instagram account and then make them shoppable. So I think that's really good Definitely for a lot of small stores that do this and market through Instagram and post images, you can actually get those images onto your store. So I think it's quite a unique way to do it. 
Then we move on to launch. And again, this is a paid theme. So just check that it's right for you before jumping in and actually paying for the theme. What I do really, really like about this one though is how it's all laid out. It basically gives you the opportunity to tell your story about a single product. And that's kind of what this video is about. There are three styles in this one you can choose from. Again, one is really a collection of images and videos. You can really make the use case for the product that you're selling and maybe the story behind it or how it was invented or made or the reason that it exists. One thing I really, really like about this theme is I just think it does really well on mobile and that's where most people are gonna come and view your site on. I do think it's way better than the startup theme. It's just my opinion, obviously, this is subjective, but I think it just does so well on smartphones. It looks really great. All the images seem to just fit in really well. There's not too much text in the wrong place. It flows really well. The main page is a story. It, I feel it just keeps you flicking down and seeing more about the product. You can also very easily create collections in here as well, which is basically a, another page within Shopify. So you can link to the collections page from the main page. And maybe you have a couple of products on that collections page, not just one. So there is some flexibility in the theme. Moving on to another free theme though, and this is Brooklyn. And they say that this is really great for apparel stores, although I think you can actually make it really for any small amount of products. Because they say it's made for apparel stores, obviously uh, images take forefront and center in the theme. And this is great if you are trying to tell a brand story as well. It has a great hero image at the top, draws people in. There's also a link right there and that can go through to other brand pages, maybe about us, a blog or reviews of that product that you're selling. This theme also has featured collections and you can actually take this away if you maybe don't have enough products to put into a collection. But if you do have a couple, maybe you can make a sales page or collections page like that. This can easily be taken away, as I said, in the theme. As you scroll down on mobile though, the images change, I think is really great. Definitely lots of opportunity to put images, videos on this homepage. And there is also a call to action as well. So you can input maybe some customer uh, data collection, like a newsletter or something like that. Something that you may wanna do to fill out your page or your store if you've only got a couple of products. So with these themes, the main page really has to be a collection of images and videos to uh, sell your product. And then all of these themes, you can just have a link up in the top right to take you through to a store page. So if you just have one product now and you maybe hope to have more in the future, these can grow with you. So there's some flexibility with all of these. Again, if you want more information about Shopify themes, also how to edit Shopify themes to make them kind of unique to your brand, I'll put all of those links to other videos and tutorials in the description. That's it for this one though. I hope it was helpful. Let me know how it goes for you. Thank you for watching this one. Thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.